sign that new extern- extension to your contract? Yeah, really happy. Um, just another, I've got this year and then another t- two years after this, and um, part of it was um, believing where the club's going. Uh, strong believe, believe that we can go on and win something in these next three years. So yeah, it was massive. Uh, Massive, really, for for me to massive pull for me to sign that deal because I strongly believe that Cass as a club have grown so much since I've made my debut in 2010, and as a club we're moving forward and improving and improving. So, yeah, there were, there were no reason for me to leave. That's it. The the strides that have been made over these past couple of seasons, especially, um, you know, they are a club on the up, Casford. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, Daryl's put his own. Um, pointing to the, the club and uh, yeah the coaching staff and every department at CAS is, is really strong and you know the, the squad's also like that and you know the last two seasons have been pretty good uh, top four and uh, finished fifth last year had a good run in the Challenge Cup two years ago and uh, you know we'll certainly be looking forward to uh, starting that competition and as a, as a league we're looking to be in top four again so you know the club as a whole are, uh, are in a strong position um, Stadiums around the corner, which you know a lot of fans and you know the squads are looking forward to as well. So you know the club's moving forward in the in the right right di- direction, and you know I, I really want to be part of it. And is it a relief for a player to to get the long term sorted out? Yeah, it gives you a bit of security. So it's you know it, it kind of relieves the pressure from you. Um, but you know each week you're looking to put a good performance on it. Well, me personally, I'm looking to prove it every day and every game. So, you know, I, I put pressure on myself every every week. So, you know, I, I'm looking to improve and get better and better. Um, got to ask you about Michael Shenton, obviously a huge blow. Uh, what's been the reaction amongst the players to that news that he's been ruled out for, for the remainder of the season? Oh, it's disappointing. Um, he's, he's, his, he's his captain, he's his main leader. And uh, you know he's a phenomenal player, uh, England international, and um, you know it'll be a big loss to us. But you know we've got good strength in depth in that department with uh, Jake Webster who filled his boots in pretty well on on Sunday, and uh, you know we need that from him every week now. Um, and then we've got Greg and Crooksy to also compete on the other side and in in, in, in the centre. So you know we we we're, look, we're fortunate that we've got that strength in depth in that department. But yeah. For Shenny, I, I wish him a speedy recovery, and um, I'm sure he will because he's like an Iron Man. He, he, re- he reco- recovers quicker than anyone else, but you know it's disappointing, and uh, just wish him all the best. It all disappointing because it was a it was a bad tackle. Uh, Bedesma's ban has been increased to to four games. Do you look at that as a player and think that that's the right decision, or do you think he's still got away with it? Uh, yeah, it's a nasty tackle. Um, I think four games is is. Probably saved his saved his time, but um, you know it's it's one of them tackles you don't like to see around the around the knees, and you know I don't know what what the game can do about it, but you know the them tackles need to pro- probably cut cut out of the game because um, you know it's the career-ending injuries. But um, hopefully Jenny can recover well, like I've said, and and come back, and hopefully feature in the end of the season, maybe playoffs and um, grand final if we get there. Now moving ahead to this this weekend's game, obviously a huge derby. Uh, I guess that is something that, that the players look forward to. And do you look forward to it personally? Yeah, I absolutely love playing against Wakefield. It's my hometown club, um, you know, from Stanley, and uh, you know, get a lot of banter from family, friends, uh, people in pubs, and you know, local people. Um, yeah, it's all part and parcel of the game, and it's it's all all part and parcel of the derbies, and you know, it's it's good fun. First home game of the season, so the atmosphere would have been good anyway. But to have the derby atmosphere on top of it, it's going to be roaring here. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, there's no better fans than the local fans and cast fans that, um, who come down here at, at home and and, and shout the shout the mouths off at um, the jungle. You know, it's it's somewhat special down here in the in the old ground, and you know they brought a good following at OKR. You know, they nearly well. It will nearly sell out at OKR, and I'm sure it'll be close to it um, on Sunday. And Darren said that a draw was probably a disappointing result in, in the end last weekend. So important to get the first win on the board as well. Yeah, definitely. We're you know we're pretty disappointed to just to come on with the one point from all, um, but you know it's a pretty much must that we get the two points um, on Sunday and really get it. Started. <laughs>